Hi friends, I've got a long list of names I'm about to read to you, and I'm going to go as quickly as possible. My name's Host Eric, I'm the host of Talking with Fitness People. I may butcher a couple of the names, I'm going to try to be as clean as I can, and clear as well. Are you ready? Here you go. Famous INFJs of history. Adam Sandler, Adolf Hitler, Adrian Brody, Al Pacino, Alec Guinness, Anthony Kiedlis, Eris Aristophane, Ayatollah Khomeini, Billy Crystal, Brian Wilson, Callista Flockhart, Calvin Coolidge, Carrie Mulligan, Carl Gustav Jung, Carrie Fisher, Kate Blanchett, Chaucer, Dante Alighieri, Edward Norton, Eleanor Roosevelt, Evangeline Lilly, Fanny Crosby, Fred McMurray, Peter Dostoevsky, Gandhi, Gary Trudeau, Ger George Harrison, Gillian Anderson, Goethe. Goethe. Yes, my name is Goethe. I'm very fancy German. Heinrich Himmler, Helen Palmer, Ho Chi Minh, James Reston, Jamie Foxx, Jesus, Jimmy Carter, John Coltrane, Julie Depley, Lady Gaga, Larry King, Leo Trotsky, Marcus Aurelius, Marilyn Manson, Martin Van Buren, Mel Gibson, Michael Landon, Michelle Pfeiffer, Misha Barton, Mother Teresa, Nathan the Prophet of Israel, Nathaniel Hawthorne, author of the Scarlet Letter, Nelson Mandela, Nevi Campbell, Nev Campbell, Nicole Kidman, Neil Bors, Noam Chomsky, Oprah Winfrey, Osama Bin Laden, Paul Stuckey, Fer Pharrell Williams, Piers Anthony, Plato Prince, Robert Burns, Ron Paul, Shirley Temple, Simon Du Beauvoir, Stuart Murdoch, Sudie Kate, Talib Kali, Tom York, Thomas Jefferson, Tilda Swinton, Tom Selwood, Woodrow Wilson, Woodley Allen. Okay, so that's the list of people so I have gone through this list and you know as I go through these lists of the types I realize of course that they they tend to separate into different categories depending on the type and these ones tend to err more on the creative side and less on the abstract reasoning side so let's see we've got the categories are music writing actor acting and comedy uh, saint, deity, or prophet, <laughs> or mystical mystical person of some sort, uh, and we've got statesman, we've got thinker, and we've got villain. So we have seven categories, I'm sorry, seven. Music, writing, film, metaphysical entity, statesman, abstract thinker, and villain. Alright. In seventh place. Well, he doesn't get to the place. And in last place, the villain. We're gonna do the villain first. You do have Hitler on your team, INFJs. You got Hitler. Okay. But you're not gonna like this. You figure, well, I know we gotta deal with the Hitler thing. Even worse, Hitler didn't even win the villain contest. You got an even worse villain. Or at least a, a, a worse one for the winning of this contest. I think maybe a good good call on the worst one is Ho Chi Minh. Ouch! INFJs take a blow in the first inning. Okay, well, look, guys. There's no place but up from there. He was a murderous thug. Hitler didn't even make it such that he wantonly slaughtered people in every single demographic of his society. Uh... Boo, you INFJs, for deciding to have Ho Chi Minh. Okay, now let's go on to happier news. In sixth place, sixth place, greatest, sixth greatest INFJ in history, another upset in the religion category. It's not Jesus, it's Mother Teresa. In fifth place, now we're getting to where the gets it some more impact in the round, right? You know, these are the more of the big names. All right, so let's look at the uh, comedy actor category. A lot of good comedy actors here. A lot of good people have been nominated this year. The Academy's had a hard time with it. Lady Gaga's up there in that mix. Pharrell Williams, what would? I used to put the music people in the same category. Oh, no, I didn't. I put more music in the category. Never mind. So Pharrell's not really in that category. Tom Selleck? Ooh. Sexy with his mustache. Okay. 
The actual winner of the film category for INFJ, though, is going to be our fourth place overall. Is that where we're at? Mm, seven, six, fifth place overall. And it is Woody Allen. Congratulations, Woody. And congratulations, INFJs. He's funny. I really like that book he wrote uh, called uh, With Feathers or something like that. But he did get extra credit here by B because he not only is an actor and he not only is a comedian, but he also is a writer. But I put him in the actor comedian category. But I gave him a little extra weight for his multi multi talents. Okay, so that's our fifth. Now we're down to our fourth. We've got only four possibilities left. No, we only got three left. I guess I've done... No, no, we have four left. Okay. So, in fourth place, it's going to be our statesman. I know, you might be shocked to have him land this low. A real feather in the INFJ cap. A real hero to the people. Ron Paul. Fuck yeah, Ron Paul. Alright, now. Let's go on to your third place winner and I think but for his recent death we'd have him inverted there with Ron Paul but in third place the recently deceased ageless one Prince Prince is really good Prince has really good music and it's not exactly right my taste like it's not perfectly my taste exactly but I like it a lot and I respect it a lot because it's really I can understand that he's doing good stuff with that alright so I've seen him live too I saw him live before he died too late now you can't see him live anymore he's dead alright in second place wow wow did he move up high up the charts I might can see do a little bit of personal bias here on this one. Piers Anthony in the writing category is the second greatest INFJ of all time. You might not think of Piers Anthony as being that great because he wrote a lot, a lot of trashy books. But he also wrote some really good books. And the ones that he tried hard on are just, I don't know, uh, stalwart statues memorializing moments of my childhood or something like that because I really like those books the Zan series I read that shit out of that when I was a kid and I read all the other shit too I read all kinds of stuff he's very very prolific pounds of shit out like crazy okay <clears throat> well wow Piers Anthony landed high Eric you might say but there's still one left who's our number one guy who's the winner of the number one prize the number one greatest INFJ of all time Probably guessed it, huh? Carl Jung! Come on down here, Carl! Come here! Come here, buddy! Yeah, hello, it's me, Carl Jung. Why am I here again? We want to give you a prize! You're the greatest INFJ of all time. Oh, you know, I, I've been thinking, Jose, I, I may have mistyped myself. I, I was using Myers-Briggs rather than the cognitive function model at the time, and... Carl! You should know better than that! Well, I'm sorry, host Eric. I... Go! You come back later when you've thought about what you've done. Okay, host Eric. I'm sorry. Okay, bye. <laughs>